Welcome back to the 5-Minute Football Fix. I'm Steven Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis, and it's Monday, August 8th, 2011. Good T- day. Today, we're talking about rookies going down. Rookies are going down, and Eagle is landed in Philadelphia. After three weeks of no reports, today we have a good old boy. Yay. And the Hall of Fame had a lot of empty seats in it. And then we'll go out with style. <laughs> First up, though, rookies are going down. It is ship all banged up all over the NFL. Ship all banged up? Yeah. We're talking about in Detroit where rookie running back Mikhail LaShore tore his Achilles tendon. He is going to miss his entire rookie season. It's a shame because this is why you don't want to have your fantasy drafts right now because you don't know who's going to be around by the end of the month. And I saw him going both of my drafts. He was hoping to really add a power runner alongside Javid Best there in Detroit. And once again, the people of Detroit are left to go, seriously, us in Detroit? Seriously, the auto industry goes down? The Lions have sucked for 25 years. We had hope with Stafford, but he gets hurt because he's Italian and he's fragile. 25 and, years? Come on! It hasn't been come that on. bad. But you're right. They want to get that power to go with the speed, uh, kind of have like a little power and lightning going. It, it just uh, not going to happen for Detroit. He is going to miss the entire rookie campaign, uh, maybe next year for, for the Lions. But it's not that bad for the fresh Prince of New York, Stephen. It is that bad. It, uh, no, well, it's not that bad. He won't miss the entire season. That's right. Prince, Prince of, Mukamura. of Mukamura of the New York Giants. Days after signing his $8.1 million contract. How much? $8.1 million. Nice. He broke his foot and is scheduled to miss at least two months. Could be more. Jeffrey, that is why we have a saying here at NFL Rants and Raves. Make sure you sign your $8.1 million contract before you break your foot. We really have a si- saying that says that? No, we didn't. But, but now we, we do, do now. Now we do. We, we do saying. now. It's a sign good one. your contract before you break your foot. Absolutely. Now, we got one other thing. Um, you know, speaking of New York, Stephen. Oh, gosh. What is going on there? They're speaking losing of, people. They're becoming the Detroit Lions of the East. Well, Caboose, problems. Kevin <laughs> Boos goes on. Kevin Boss, <laughs> we know his Boos. name. Kevin Boss goes out and signs with uh, Oakland Raiders. the Oakland Raiders. Yes. And then they go in and they bring in Ben Patrick from the Arizona Cardinals to kind of shore up that tight end position for Eli Manning. And since the 2007 Super Bowl, Eli has lost – Every single guy he counted on for red zone targets. I have a question. I have a question. How many 26-year-olds out there have retired in their life? How many? That's a good good question, Steven. Ben Patrick, at 26 years old, a tight end they brought in from the Arizona Cardinals, after five practices with the Giants, says, you know what? I'm done. He says he's got a lot on his mind. He's got a lot of things to think about. And I got a lot of money, so I got time to wow. think about all those things. Yes. And he's going to figure out the meaning of life, Stephen, and I can't wait to hear the answer. You know what the meaning of life is, Jeffrey? Go back to playing football, <laughs> Ben Patrick. Working on a living. <laughs> Finally, and next, an eagle has landed. Pro Bowl wide receiver Deshaun Jackson is back in camp. He yes. missed 12 practices. But I'm pretty sure that he'll get up to speed pretty quickly well, there. I know why he's back. Basically, the Eagles t- told him and told his agent, we don't negotiate with players which are not at camp. Um, he wants his money, so he showed up to camp. <laughs> it's cost you a lot more now under the new CBA to be missing camp, by the way. And next, we have our favorite segment, and maybe yours. Just a good old boy. Yes, we do, Jeffrey. Never meaning no harm. The dude means no harm at all. Beats all you never saw, been in trouble with the law since the day he was born. Oh, now he's only a third string quarterback but in all still fairness. Quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. And he was stupid. Rhett Bomar er, was arrested early Sunday morning in Mankato for a third degree drunken driving violation. Does that D- mean he had a fever while he was caught pulled no, over for DWI, drug driving? DWI, I don't oh, know. Driving um, while incompetent? While, <laughs> while intoxicated. Same diff. Uh, Bomar, who you may remember, was released by the Oklahoma Sooners in 2006 for violating NCA violations. And, and, and being quite of a drinker back in college in his college days as well. Hey, do you know? Do you, do you ever learn? <laughs> when, when do you learn? At some point, I remember in college, I used to like to party. Now, I, d- I didn't drink, but I still partied. And I loved the party. It was, I, I don't party that much anymore. Because you're old. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> At some point, you got to learn. You got to just be done. Okay. 
and the Hall of Fame this weekend. A terrific oh, ceremony, yes. lots of emotional speeches, lots of tears, new bus going into the hall in Canton. But it, when they did the wide shot of the crowd, the first the, half of the house was full, the back house of the house, a lot of empty. empty seats. Basically, since there was no football game to watch on Sunday, a lot of people didn't make the trip. Dion brought seven buses of his kids uh, from the Truth uh, kind of campaign to come and watch. Could have brought induction. seventeen. Um, it, it, it was it was a little disappointing to see that there there weren't very many people there to watch this year's inductees. Uh, they deserve to be in there, though. It was great, Jeff. All right, we're out. Uh, we're going to be assessing training camps over yep. the next week. Yep. We'll be back with you next week with a full slate of preseason games to discuss. Oh, it's going to be great. I can't wait. For your five-minute football fix, I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis. Out. Out.